Hi, sixth grade. I wanted to take a minute just to talk about how to best read this map, as there's a lot going on, so it helps to take a second to just see how to read the map. First off, this is a map of the Earth showing you the tectonic plates that we're going to be dealing with. On the map, you'll notice that there's yellow sections that represents land or continental crust. There's also the blue, which represents the oceans. That's the crust underneath the ocean, which makes it oceanic crust. In the bottom left, there's the key, which is incredibly important. It shows you the different plate boundaries. First, this solid red line. You can see it here in the, on the screen. The solid red line represents divergent plate boundaries, where two plates are moving apart. That might be oceanic plates moving apart or continental plates moving apart. The dotted line, also seen on the screen, is a transform plate boundary where two plates are sliding past each other. Finally, the line with the arrows attached to it represents a convergent plate boundary. This is where two plates are going to be coming together, whether that's oceanic, continental, or a combination of the two. Lastly, you'll see black arrows on the map that show you the movement of plates as they're moving across the Earth. So when we zoom out, you can immediately notice things like the Pacific plate is generally moving up and to the left, while the Nazca plate is moving to the right, and the South American plate is moving to the left. In addition, I'm noticing many spots where there's convergent plate boundaries. Again, these lines with the triangles attached. Long lines of straight-lined divergent boundaries, and even some spot with transform boundaries. Lastly, you may have noticed that there's the numbers 1 through 5 on the map. These are the five locations that you're going to answer questions on in the following activity. If you're feeling lost in the activity, I would say refer back to this map. That will tell you which type of plate you're dealing with, continental, yellow, or oceanic, blue, and also the type of boundary that is happening in between those plates. As always, feel free to reach out with questions, check your notes, and the slides are always available. Good luck!